Sonia, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm there. So, dear students, it, uh, it is a privilege uh, today that we have amongst us uh, Mr. Sonia Bansal, who is the additional vice president of a company called Red Gain. And she'll be taking us through to the journey of how travel industry works. Now, the clientele of Red Gain includes companies like Make My Trip and Expedia. So today we are going to learn the technology behind the, the operational of the online travel agents. So I would uh, invite uh, Ms. Malvika Bora to give a formal uh, introduction and welcome address to Ms. Sonia Bansu. Malvika. Yeah, sir. Jai Hind and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the ninth edition of Industry Speaks. Today we have Sonia Bansu with us who will be talking about travel. Give you all a brief president since last three years at Rate Gain. The organization is a leading data provider and competitive pricing intelligence for travel and hospital. Talking about the education quality, tech is some science engineering from UPTU. He has an overall 40 years of experience in software industry. Further, he also works for various products. I would like to welcome you, ma'am, on the behalf of IGT family, and would like to pass the web stage to you. So you may start with the session, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Jai Hind, everyone. Uh, Jai Bharat. And uh, I hope all of you are safe at home. Okay, so okay, so I'm uh, you know I'm glad to be uh, on this session. Uh, it's always good to connect with uh, students, and you know, uh, uh, and the plus point is you know you and me, uh, the domain is same. So uh, it's please mute yourself. Uh, that would be really helpful. Yeah. Okay, so I was saying since the domain is same, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this session will be really great. It will help you to uh, have some common technology solutions that a lot of our travel industry uses. So let's get started, everyone. Um, so I'll just, since uh, Malvika has already given the introduction, so I'll just skip it. And so that, you know, we have uh, the important things coming down. So I'll start with, you know, few questions and I really want this session to be interactive everyone uh, so please put your points uh, you know feel free to talk to me please so two questions for everyone on this board right now has anyone went to the railway station in any past one or two years to book or cancel tickets anyone would like to answer this Yes, many a times. <laughs> okay, so I would like to ask the students, uh, what are your thoughts? No, ma'am, I don't think so. Okay, uh, great. Uh, second question, you know, I'm sure uh, anyone of uh, most of you would have planned your, uh, whole, you know, uh, holiday trips uh, with your family, friends. Did did you know you even uh, took went to a website to uh, you know call the hotel reception hey do you know do you have a availability of the rooms i remember you know when we were kids you know our parents used to do this so th does anyone remember this has anyone of you done this part you know calling hotel to find out the bookings No, ma'am. Ma'am, we directly book online. We have various portals now. So yes. We don't it... need to contact the hotel. We just go directly to the website and we just book the number of hotels, a room we have to book or the type of room we want to choose. Exactly. Correct. That, that's the point I want to make. Thank you. Uh, you know, so, so this is the... You know, this is analysis which we have that 74% of travelers plan their trips on the internet and only 13% use travel agencies to prepare them. 
so so what does it tells us you know so this is what it tells you that we all being in the travel industry the one crystal or you know the one component which is actually accelerating it is the technology you know as you said that you know you have apps you have websites you have otas lot of technology part so so this is what technology has actually revamped the entire travel industry first it's you know quick planning you don't need to uh, uh, find out you need to you need not call any hotel or airlines you can quickly go uh, uh, travago has anyone used the travago website yes ma'am yes ma'am great 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 so what is travago doing this is actually he helping you in doing you know the first thing quick planning you can quickly go if you even if you have even you have seen that their ad you know you you want to go to goa just go to travago find out the cheapest hotel from there you can just go to that hotel it gives you easy booking and when you are booking you know even the website will tell you on the page it will tell you you know what this is this is a temperature uh, you need to take care of this thing so that is efficient packing so it's so much connected that we as a traveler need not even think things just smoothly come in and when we say st stay connected and great traveling experience you know you you be at metro you be at airport you be anywhere you have bluetooth you have wifi you are connected with your friends and with all this you have one important thing you know recently coming in the reviews you know you're going to a new place you can see the reviews you can see the customers feedback so that you can enhance your traveling experience you know when i remember when we used to go you know our parents used to say oh my god why did we book this hotel it does not has even this amenity but now with us you know this is not the case you know whenever we are doing any booking we always read the feedback you know we search the pages so this is how the technology has given the boost to the travel industry with all these features any anything anyone would like to add anything here um okay i'll move ahead okay so no this is you know this is as a consumer you know all this whatever i covered in this slide this was more from the consumer side when we are as a consumer that we have apps you know we can do quick planning but what is happening at the other side and this is where you know you all as you know uh, being the the the, and the students of the travel industry who would go in the future to different uh, industries which are related to travel this is the second part you know when you move out of your college part this is these are the systems you all will be interacting one on another this you know so these are the core technology solutions where any whether it's an airline industry or any industry these are the you know the most important tools that we use first is the property management system rate shopping tool market intelligence web analytics channel manager and i will be covering all these uh, topics so that you know you all could understand how is the the other part as as the hotel industry how are they benefit how are how we this technology the software solutions are helping them to meet the demand of our consumers okay so let me just first go to the property management system now uh, you know if you remember when you moved you know whenever you check in into any hotel do you see a reception you know receptionist they you know they typing in something they will take your details and will will put in the details right do you see anyone uh, using a register or an excel sheet doing that has any one of you seen this depends ma'am but mostly computerized computerized yes exactly so gone are those days when you know we used to have you know maybe an excel or any register where they were maintaining this so this is this is the first important 
technology solution which has helped the hotel industry to maintain their entire logs so as i said instead of using separate spreadsheets which were uh, you know they were prone to human errors this has automated entire of the operational tasks which would mean you know at when a guest would come what is their check in dates what is you know has the housekeeping staff done from a to z it's managing their entire system so what has happened is now they don't need people who would actually manage this it's it's everything is there in the system they just need people to manage these systems so now so you know what you would have heard these words a lot scalability this is a very uh, you know important word used in technology ki if you develop anything you know if if a hotel chain let's say it opens in noida and now they want to scale scale their business so now let's say what they want to open in ghaziabad also or in delhi also now they want a system which is connecting them through all these regions so that is called scalability so if they had not used the system they will never become scalable so all these big chains that's how they became you know they earn money or they manage the system using these big property management system okay okay so i'll, I'll move next okay so this is i've just you know i've added a snapshot so as you see uh, my cursor you know this is a, 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 a very small page for a property management system where you will have all the details of uh, the person who is checking in the hotel all their arrival dates okay the room types can anyone tell me what are these room types i'm sure you all are from the travel industry what what this room type would be Anyone would like to answer this? Ma'am, double room, twin room, this kind yes. of thing. Yes. Yes, exactly. So whenever we, you know, this is these are very uh, these are the domain specific words. Obviously, you know, we all should know the room types, the meal plans. This is really important in the travel industry, and that's how these would help us to identify. So if you see this room type is using a code. Obviously, this code is internal. So as an admin users, they will have a screen where they can actually configure all this sorry where they can configure all this that okay what are the room types which this hotel is supporting what are the rate codes if this is a room type what all rates we need to apply right so this is all which is happening inside this okay so i'll just move next okay uh, channel manager has anyone heard this word channel manager Okay, so I'll I'll just uh, brief on this. Yeah. No problem. Okay, okay. So you know, I'm sure this will be really interesting for all of you to understand this this word. Have you ever thought that you know, uh, so many hotel? Let's take example of Lee Meridian. You know, Lee Meridian would be available on Make My Trip, on Yatra, Expedia, um, and many more uh, Trago. How would they be maintaining the inventory? does it ever happen ki one hotel was booked on mmt oh, sorry on no, that's a short form we use it in travel industry mmt for make my trip any hotel room was booked in mmt and that room how would the hotel knows that you know this person has checked in and he has booked the hotel from make my trip how what is yeah okay so so this is this is you know the, this is the hero behind this this is that software that has helped hotel industry to manage this thing where one hotel is now available on various channels or websites you know th these are the words which we use in travel industry uh, like yatra.com it's this could be called as a channel this could be called as an ota or a website so one hotel is available on various channels and the receptionist is sitting inside the hotel so if you book any room in let's say from make my trip this is this, this channel manager is in between 
it it is it's a you know it's a funnel from where all the inventories all the bookings are happening so that one room cannot be sold twice and that's what i've written here that channel manager is that technology behind where it's able to manage the inventories across all the booking channels so instead so this is this line is very important it ensures that online inventory is sold at once without any risk or overbooking right because otherwise so what will happen ek room agar do bar book ho jayega obviously you know the moment you will check in have you ever so uh, you know the the person will say uh, you know a two person uh, been checked in for the same room obviously this never happened with any one of us so this is a channel manager and today there is no hotel which might has not integrated itself with this channel manager because every hotel to gain profit they are they are not only selling themselves they are also selling their rooms on various channels like oh, uh, you know uh, yatra make my trip pick an expedia okay okay one question for all of you what do you think here i'm asking questions i don't know that's how you people do it you people prefer chat because i have not opened my chat window so just let me know i can view my chat window then i i am not seeing my chat window how you people do it if anyone can please tell me either way ma'am both the ways are fine Okay, that's fine. Okay, then I'll just start from here. But few, I'm but few people comment on the chat box because many of them are not uh, audible from the voice. Okay, okay, okay. So then, uh, whenever I'll ask any questions, so I'll because it's not giving me both the options of showing it. So let me just do like this then. Okay. So I was just asking these questions. Uh, the screen is visible, right? There is no issues here. Yes, yes ma'am, ma it is visible. okay great 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 so let me just go back here so uh, so someone asked me uh, aditi is asking can you name specific channel managers okay so even raid gain offers one of the channel managers if you could search on internet you will find res gain this is one of the product which raid gain the company which i work offers a channel manager but what about this what do you think about this question yes, do you think yeah why do you think so ma'am property management system because as you said as you rightly mentioned there about the channel manager inventory and property mm. management system also needs to have the inventory you know they will obviously when someone a walk in comes so uh, like example if a walk in comes and if he needs to get a room and mm. if all the rooms are already booked so it has to be the inventory has to be sync in the pms also and other booking channels also great 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 can you please tell me your name please ma'am i am nidhish Nidish, okay, thank you. Nidish. I am part. I am part of the industry. I have been for oh. quite some time. So, but I was just curious about your session. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. So, thank you so much for answering. So, did you get this uh, point, students? Uh, clear on this part. That now understand this. You know, you have a property management system with the hotels, where hotels are doing all their bookings. They are managing everything. Now, a person can call on. on their hotel uh, number as well that hey you know what i need a booking and then there is a channel manager where you know uh, we have so uh, i come i have a picture as well you know after one or two slides where i think things will become more clear so every time one room cannot be booked twice and that's why this channel manager is very well integrated with your pms system so i'll just move on to the second next slide so that i can show you one uh, graph that i have okay so uh, now no no so now these words you know these are very confusing they are very similar pms channel manager and now there's another word booking engine but being in travel industry we all should know these very important solutions which are used in travel industry and now this is the booking engine now you know have you ever noticed you know if you go on to any let's say on lee meridian website let's say or any uh, any hotel uh, any important chain taj hotel if you go on taj hotel do you ever have you seen options that you can book from there itself right you can book a room you, you can do reservations from their own website right yes ma'am 
right okay so that is called as a brand website very important very key word to be remembered when we say brand website means the hotel the website which is there for the hotel itself so if i go to the taj hotel website so if you do a booking from taj hotel website itself you you would say that i booked the reservation by the brand website in a in the travel world okay so booking engine is the software which is behind this that if you log on to the hotel brand website then you will be able to do your booking through that and i'm i'm just highlighting these words you know just just think through your mind do you think this is important in fact this is important for any any uh, web application multi current payment op multi currency payment option multi language support multi device compatibility why do you think we need this multi device compatibility anyone would like to answer this question why do you think any any uh, booking engine meaning any brand website from where a consumer is doing a reservation that software should support multi device compatibility anyone would like to uh, try this question ma'am so that we can book it from our phone or computer or uh, any any device great yes and you know not in phone also you have two variations you have an ipad you know you have a apple and you have an android correct so that is why when we are in travel industry if you can the consumer can book it from anywhere and you will be surprised to know you can try that you know after the session that if you book any reservation through a mobile app the companies give a better discount than websites why because they want the consumers coming more from the mobile apps and why so you know because mobile a person can be searching and book a booking through mobile app at any time for a desktop the person needs to come on the laptop you know do the searching so uh, you can try this you know any any expedia make my trip yatra right now because of covid the conditions could be different but in general scenario they always give you better discounts through mobile apps because they want the consumers to book the reservation as whenever they get time so that's why any booking engine which is integrated with the hotel's brand website they has they have to support it multi language multi device multi payment option obviously because person can book it from anywhere it's not even india it could be anywhere and all these brand chains they always have to support this and obviously it has to have all these automated systems of sending emails and everything and now i will come i'm showing in this way so that i can see if there's anything written on the chat window so i'm okay so i'll just jump to this maybe i'll do an f5 so this everyone can see this i want you know before we move this this thing should be very clear to everyone because i really want that i could add something by giving this session this is the overall map this is how this entire industry is working okay so you have you could see this ota this ot is online travel agent this is where you have all these big sitting here expedia make my trip booking.com trip advisor agoda and interestingly all of these are rate gains clients you know all of the, we work with all of them so all of these are otas where a hotel would had contacted and you know these channels would be giving the hotel a commission um, if the if their hotel rooms get booked through this infra okay and then you have a booking engine which is the brand website of that hotel where a person can log in so you can if you want to do a reservation you have two ways right either you go to the taj hotel website directly or you use these third party channels to book to find the taj hotel a specific room and then you have this intermediate level this channel manager so this is sitting in between of pms and these otas and booking engine that as soon as you do a booking everyone the hotel inventory will say this is gone this room is gone and this is booked to xyz person either through booking engine and otas 
is anyone clear with this picture now you know if anyone ask you you know how this engine works would you be able to explain it now yes ma'am great 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 i'm happy to uh, hear this now again you know <laughs> i really like asking questions to the audience so that you know you all people understand the concept why would uh, you know would this information be helpful to a hotel from uh, that which room is booked through which way meaning why should they be bothered the important is to book a room from where it is booked how does it matters anyone would like to take this question i would go to my chat window. yes ma'am it 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 is going to help a lot to the hotel chain if they figure out that bookings kahan se zyada aa raha hai Hmm. 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 So they will definitely uh, like they will definitely they will definitely keep a proportion of their bookings. That here, since it's more, so they will get more preference. Milegi, exactly. Of course, exactly. Exactly, and that's why each data point is very crucial for the hotel, and that's why this channel manager is syncing the entire data to hotel PMS. By this room is booked from this this particular channel, and and you know what? This also tells the hotel that. from where the walk in is coming more is it from the booking engine which is their own brand website or from the otas because always remember if a booking comes through an ota the hotel has to give some commission obviously to the otas as well right because that's the that's the earning model between otas and hotel so they will always you know prefer ki bhai mere booking mere brand website se aani chahiye so that is why this is really important for them to understand ki kahan se zyada hai so that they can do market marketing accordingly okay so i am happy you know this this picture whenever you know anyone ask you in interview this is a picture which you should draw in your minds uh, for this entire solution i'll go back to uh, okay so we were here uh, you know with the booking engine and now i'll move forward okay so this is where you know which uh, uh, mr pawan was saying this is where uh, you know the rate gain is uh, uh, can people mute please uh, if uh, uh, yeah it's just to avoid the noise thank you okay now you know uh, when i joined rate gain 3 years back it was really interesting to me and i'm sure you know you all would be really interesting to know this i never thought of uh this this word called as rate shopping you know shopping kar rahe hain kiski rates ki shopping so you know uh, okay now let's think as a consumers here you know you have to again book a hotel room right if make my trip would offer you even 10 rupees less you know our brain would say yeah you know even the travago websites also tells you the same thing you know uh, that uh, uh, that uh, this is the hotel which is giving me the cheapest room so you should book the hotel from this particular website so as consumers we want the cheapest price right but now how would these hotel industries ots would would offer the cheapest price this is the you know this is the uh, way to get it and it's called as rate shopping where you know i'll i'll just read this line for everyone that we shop rates in real time to get rates for local and international events and holidays so what are we doing here is we have you know uh, we have some automatic you can read this word you know you will this word is really interesting you can uh, read this word called as bot b o t e bot you know uh, you would have tried you know uh, if you go on any website there are a lot of uh, uh, customer support where you type in something and you get an answer i'm sure amazon.com generally uses this if you go have you has anyone got this experience like you know if you go to any amazon any website you type in something and there is an automated response coming from back has anyone noticed that yes ma'am even google does that google does that you know what yes. is that yes yes that is what that is called as a bot 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 so that is an automated program where you where we have feeded that if consumer is doing this you need to type in this and this rate shopping is entirely based on these bots where we go to the website and just like a human would search a, a hotel booking 
these bots will go on the website and will actually do will do the searching and will get back the rates that's where the word the, this word came in rate shopping and as i said you that since consumers want to know the cheapest price the channels you know the the hotel industry uh, these otas expedia booking agoda these are the big names in travel industry you know uh, i'm sure a lot of you will even want to join these companies so they also want to know ki yaar ye mera room hai so iska cheapest price i should offer it in in the market not booking and not agoda and this is how they are doing it you know i'll i'll show you more in my next slide that how this data tells and through this data they do parity mo parity monitoring now uh, have you ever noticed that you know uh, whenever you are doing these searching one hotel is available on one website whereas it's closed on another have you noticed this uh, yes ma'am ma you know you should start noticing all this you know uh, this is a very uh, uh, good way to see how this these hotels and these channels combinations work this is called as parity so parity comes in two ways first parity comes in is that first of all is a rate parity obviously parity is difference right in normal english word parity is in uh, parity is difference so these these uh, industries they see ki rate parity kya hai what is the difference what is the variance between my price and the price which is offered by my competitor for example expedia will see what price is given by booking and agoda second parity is availability good points you know you can just note down you can research you can read on more on this rate parity and availability parity that if the hotel even if it's closed on my competitor it should be available on my website i should be the winner if a consumer comes he has to do the booking from my side so that is why it's called as parity monitoring tool where pehle apne rate shopping kari so first we did the rate shopping we got the rates and then we are seeing ki parity kahan kahan aa rahi hai any 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 questions you know it's a new words i'm i'm sure for you guys anything which comes to your mind any question before i move on uh anything on the chat window let's just let me see no okay ma'am your mic is muted Oh, thank you, thank you so much for pointing. And my presentation is also not visible. Oh, yeah, because I think I kicked out of the meeting somehow. So thank you. Okay, I hope it's there now, right? Can you see this now, bit? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. okay i have highlighted this word meta search would anyone would like to take this uh, answer uh, this question what is meta search any anyone would like to uh, ha heard this word meta search i mean it is a type of engine meta search engine yes right so meta search engine is like trivago you know so next time anyone ask, uh, questions you what is trivago trivago is a meta search engine because when you uh, google is a meta search engine because when you go on this website you will find the rate for different otas right for example if you log in right now on expedia.com you will only see prices for expedia right but if you log in on trivago or google you will see prices for various otas and various websites so that is why it is called as a meta search so you know so these are the good uh, domain words which you all can remember uh, that this rate shopping so that i've added here because when we are doing rate shopping we need to find out the parity we find the parity across otas and meta search ki trivago pe price kya aa raha hai ota pe price kya aa raha hai aur meri khud ki brand website pe price kya aa raha hai got it okay 
so i'll just show you it's little uh, i've taken it uh, one of the offerings which uh, which redgain does so i'll just give you a brief and you know you will get an idea ki uh, uh, how important is this rate shopping in parity if you could see this graph you know you could see this this yellow this pie chart which it says yellow red blue right so let's say i need to do a booking so expedia uh, comes to me to rate gain and you know they say that you know what uh, rate gain uh, i need to find out for all the goa hotels for these many check in dates what is the price which i offer and what is the price which agoda and booking offers so what will we do as rate shopping uh, masters that we will do some automatic bots which will search the data from expedia booking and agoda so this is rate shopping this is a first part of business intelligence then comes the second part right data to aapne nikal liya ab main baat aati hai aapko business intelligence usme dalna that is the rate parity part where what we do is we say that let's say for 15th of august let's say independence day the price of expedia is 10 let's say you know uh, 500 rupees booking is 600 and let's say agora is 700 so what we do is we find a variance we say that from booking okay 100 rupees and from agora it's 200 and based on this we create these graphs which tells our consumers so if you see this red part this red part is the part where this variance is above 20 to 25 percent and this yellow and blue are the cases where you know we have distributed the variances that blue you are okay there is no challenge yellow is okay if the the person is 5% that's fine blue is 1% that's okay but this red is 20 to 25% okay now a quick question for you all what do you think this 20 to 25% variance will tell tell our hotel uh, or maybe our consumer as expedia anyone would like to take this can you repeat the question once again yeah sure so i said that you know uh, we have our client is expedia and they uh, they have two competitors agoda and booking okay so they say that okay now go give me the rates for the entire august month for the goa hotels we did the rate shopping we extracted all the room uh, hotel rates and on based on this we created this pie chart which i'm highlighting right now which has three colors yellow blue and red so this red tells that the the rate variance for example agar ek room 100 rupees ka hai to booking pe agar 200 ka hai aur agar agoda pe 300 ka hai to rate variance kya hai jo uska difference hai price ka right so this red part tells ki jo rate variance ka jo difference hai that is more than 20% and if it is red iska matlab hai that it is on the negative side meaning expedia is 20 to 25% expensive as compared to booking and agoda so my question is what do you think you know we have covered so far so many things what do you think this data will tell them any one would like to take this question okay so yeah Now yes, it reflects please. on the buying powers of the OTAs, the buying power and their contracting capacity. How much are they able to squeeze from the hotel, or uh, the results would be directly or indirectly about their purchasing also. Great, great, yes. exact. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, yes, I'm happy to listen this answer. Great, exactly. That's what it's telling them that. this 20 to 25% varies the first thing you know what they do is they will see which properties you know this is a, again a, you know i'm just adding this word again in the domain industry in travel industry hotel is also called as a property so the first thing which they will do is they will find out which are these properties which are giving them this variance and second thing they will do is they will immediately call the hotel manager of that purse of that hotel of that property hey you are giving me why are you giving me expensive price to me and not not to my uh, booking or its agoda because you because of this we are lose, losing our profit got it so that's how these industries are giving 
us consumers the uh, the cheapest prices because they keep an eye on what is the cheapest price given by our competitors they do lot of rate shoppings and if you will search on internet uh, the parity tools you know rate gain is one of them then we have ot insights lot of industries lot of uh, companies uh, mostly there are three or four which are doing this which have lot of these parity tools to tell them where do they stand in the market okay so you can try exploring this you know uh, uh, research on rate shopping parity tools and you'll, you'll get lot of data that how is it helpful okay so i'll just uh, move ahead we've already covered this part okay so i've just added uh, this one uh, you know uh, uh, this looks like a little complex but so if you see here the word is the, the word which listed here is property because in travel industry the, the word which we called is as property in case of hotel and and this comsec this is another travel word which we use is comsec meaning if i am a hotel my competitors that is called as a comsec meaning for example in delhi if taj is the property so their comsec would be you know uh, lee meridian or hotel leela so this is their comsec and if you see this rate shopping from this rate shopping that's how they draw all these graphs that how is the rate of my property how is the rate of my comsecs and what is the cheapest overall in the market and based on this they take their decisions okay so if i revise till now first they were getting their bookings through what through the channel manager so let me just go back to this so first part was how to increase the booking this is where technology helped the hotel industry uh, and you know the airlines first how to get the bookings so how to get the bookings through otas through booking engine and channel manager was the layer which was doing all this cancellation now the second part was booking so theek hai now we are making the profit but now how to be the cheapest and number one in the market so this is there where we do rate shopping we do this rate parity and then these revenue managers they do all this exercise to know that kis din किस प्राइस को मुझे ऊपर नीचे करना है जिस दिन मेरा सबसे ज्यादा प्रॉफिट हो गॉट इट एनी एनी क्वेश्चंस एनी डाउट स्टिल हियर ओके आई आई मूव अहेड okay so i guess this is the all that i had for this session uh, uh questions you know i'm done anyone any questions thank you so much ma'am for this wonderful session and it was really very informative and you touched discussed uh, in detail how technology has changed the current scenario of travel industry it has really uh, galvanized the thought process the practical aspect and how uh, the comfort and the ease level of the customers uh, and the travel industry has changed so uh, thank you once again uh, so the session is now open for the question answers so anyone if have any question can uh, write down in the comment section or you may unmute yourself to say if you have any questions thank you Yeah, I'll be happy if you people talk to me because you know it's always good to talk and interact. You know, yeah. So I'm I'm okay. Hindi, English. You know, these are the only two languages I know. So feel free. Yes, ma'am. We just wait for two minutes. Maybe someone is typing on the comment session. Ha ha! Please, please, please. No issues. So meanwhile, I'll just you know reiterate that you know the industry where okay. So there's one question. what are the digital skills that one must have so i guess uh, so when you say digital skills do you mean uh, like how much uh, efficient we should be in the computers and all can you please okay so see, there is no specific digital skills obviously you know uh, we all already know uh, uh, work on computers and everything but yes i think one thing you know which i have learned uh, 
whatever tool you create whatever tool you create you cannot bypass excel microsoft excel meaning all these revenue managers and hotel industry on airlines ultimately they want everything you know in microsoft excel pivots graphs so i think you know as students when you move on to the the campus you know from camp when you go to the campuses and all these travel industries uh creating all the chats you know i was showing you one of this uh, this this uh, report i was showing you this report is created in excel you know this is all excel graphs so this is one thing which i would really suggest you know that uh, uh, all these tools on working on these graphs pivots i think this this really helps to identify where the loss is happening where the profit is happening i would say this uh, in my uh, terms that one thing which you should know digital market marketing everything is happening through digital marketing you know i uh, uh, if i see in in red gain only you know uh, i think you know if not uh, let me uh, answer this question like this if you go to any mall you know and anyone gives you a pamphlet do you even bother to take that pamphlet no right you don't you would say nahi nahi bhai nahi chahiye right that's how we are so i think in tourism in travel industry digital marketing is one of the biggest thing uh, and that's why linkedin google facebook you know all these three big big uh, major companies they are, they are giving you the way you can do digital marketing uh, primary inventory of hotel and airlines regulate the prices of otp definitely yes because obviously if a hotel has only five uh, hotel rooms they only tell the otas that you know i have this properties so definitely the inventory same everyone is working on the same inventory and hotel only tells them that this ye jo mera room hai ye itne level tak hi you know this is a maximum you can sell obviously no 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 madhu so uh, not at all you know if you see if all uh, whatever i've shown you there is nothing uh, uh, as a very big technology here you know all these revenue managers in fact i have uh, i've recently uh, last year i went to one of a uh, big otas i was uh, a red gain a uh, red gain i went and i could you couldn't imagine that there were so many old people and they just had excel just that excel and nothing else you would like to use so you don't have to be tech savvy you just need to understand industry you just need to understand all these keywords and that's all and you know as students we always feel ki jab कैंपस में जाएंगे पता नहीं यू नो आई वाज अ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर एंड आई ऑलवेज थॉट कि पता नहीं हाउ टू व्हाट स्किल्स विल बी यूज्ड सो प्लीज डोंट वरी यू नो एज यू विल गो ऑन यू विल लर्न नथिंग हैज टू बी हाउ डू यू मैनेज डेटा एंड सिक्योरिटी इंट्रूजंस ओके हैज एनीवन सीन व्हेन यू आई थिंक रेलवे हैज आल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इट इफ यू लॉग इन टू अ टू द रेलवे साइट यू वुड हैव नोटिसड वन थिंग देयर आर स्मॉल वर्ड्स वेयर यू नीड टू एंटर right i am sure you would have noticed that that's called as captcha captcha yes that's the main thing which all these otas has introduced to ensure these security intrusions and this is where you know we as red gain actually need to really work hard to get the data because this captures and you know the what are the difficult captures if you would have noticed a lot of uh, websites do where they give you a picture and you have to find out give me the picture of that umbrella that is have you seen that yes that, that yes ma'am have you noticed yes so those are the difficult captchas which the websites have entered and that's how they ensure these security intrusions and secondly whenever we extract this data uh, you know as uh, there are lot of norms uh, in one of the norms which we follow is like gdpr you can search on this generally people always try not to capture any personal information because uh, in us in all the industry you know most of the foreign countries you cannot store user personal data so always whenever whenever these rate shopping or when whenever we do all this too we always rate shop the rates so that's how we always secure the user thing and as you said company data i think there is nothing there is no uh, nothing like as company data because 
see company and user data is that is a second thing that is all done through firewall and all the it security policies important is ki agar aap experia.com par as a rate shopping company if i have to get the data from your website how will you how will you ensure i cannot get that data so captcha is one of the really uh, important thing and you should learn on this you know okay i'm happy to answer your questions any any more questions for me ma'am ma'am i have a general question it's not about technology sure please ma'am if a, if i put a hotel into my website uh, who will be responsible to verify it because uh, i have an experience where i booked a hotel that was uh, showing i mean that was assuring the website was assuring that it was a three star hotel but when we uh, hmm. went there we found that uh, the hotel was hardly a one star so uh, hmm. who will be responsible because uh, for that that we uh, we book uh, i'm not mentioning it where from uh, that website i mean that company has to um, return back our money so they were they were losing it so uh, who will take the responsibility who are going to verify the hotel yeah. before putting it inside so ideally it's a responsibility so i'll use the domain word it's a responsibility of otas right because as you said you know next time you won't go to that website to book the hotel right because yes, you had ma'am yes ma'am i never right? go to that like Yes, exactly. So that is the see that is where you know this is the uh, now I'll use another word market manager. Market manager is all these OTAs have market managers for each of this region. So this is the sole and sole responsibility of OTA. कि if अगर मैं कोई होटल अपने पेज पे दिखा रहा हूँ मैं कोई सेल कर रहा हूँ and if you are putting a wrong uh, feedback, so then OTA is responsible to answer a question, not the hotel because hotel ने तो नहीं डाला ना जाकर ये तो जिस वेबसाइट पे जो डेट आ रहा है उसकी जिम्मेदारी है कि सही डेटा वो दिखा रहा हूं राइट यस मैम थैंक यू मैम श्योर थैंक्स सुनीता मैम आई हैव अ क्वेरी यस प्लीज मैम लाइक यू एक्सप्लेंड अबाउट लाइक ओटीएस हैव अ बुकिंग इंजन एंड वाया चैनल दे द इन्वेंटरी इज मैनेज्ड बट व्हाट इफ लाइक फोर फोर ओटीएस हैव अ वन चैनल एंड different for otas have different channel then how those different chan- is there only one channel or there are different channel this like for example a company is mm-hmm. manage- managing a channel and second mm-hmm. company has a different channel so mm-hmm. how they do integrate Hmm. So first of all, it's not channel; it's the channel manager. First of all, channel is actually OTA only. So OTA के लिए तीन चार words हम industry में use करते हैं OTA channel website ठीक. So channel manager एक software है. Now if Expedia, let's say Expedia is using some another software, uh, Agoda is using another software. so they will integrate they will have some integration when i say integration kuch software aur kuch technical integration hoga jo ki ye us channel manager se kar rahe honge aur channel manager further ek integration kar raha hoga hotel ke sath ye kuch aisa hai ki let's say uh, amazon ek delivery karta hai right ab jab amazon pe ek seller aata hai right to सेलर हो सकता है कोई और कुरियर यूज कर रहा होगा एमेजोन हो सकता है कोई और कुरियर यूज कर रहा होगा लेकिन जब ये लोग आपस में आते हैं तब ये कॉमन पॉइंट से सेलिंग कर रहे होते हैं एक कॉमन कुरियर आता है करेक्ट सेलर हो सकता है अपना कुछ कर रहा हो एमेजोन हो सकता है अपना कुछ कर रहा हो तो जब ये पार्टी एक साथ आती है ये इनका म्यूचुअल एग्रीमेंट होता है कि दिस चैनल मैनेजर विल हैव समथिंग टेक्निकल जिससे इंटीग्रेट होंगे कॉट इट ये Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. There is another question on the chat box by Aditya Tiwari. Can you just read it? Yeah, I answered this. This security and institution. Uh, uh, no, ma'am. Uh, does your organization use software throughout your departments in order to maximize the output, or it is a hybrid of softwares integrated with human elements? I cannot see this somehow. Okay, but I'll answer this question. See, uh, uh, see, Red Gain is not any uh, hotel or a travel uh, company. Red Gain is a rate shopping provider. So whatever we are doing is we have products so that we can tell our uh, consumer, our sorry, our clients that how much cheapest you are in the market. Okay, so we are not any hotel or a, a, a or a airline industry. Does that answer your question, Aditya? Yes, ma'am. And you yes, can ma'am. scroll down the text. Yes, ma'am. It does answer my question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I think, ma'am. Now, no more questions are there, and ma'am, just a request: if you could drop your email ID at the chat box, so in case anyone has a questions or query in the future, they may contact you on email. Sure, sure. I will do that. Somehow, I cannot. Okay, so maybe I'll send that in the email. Yeah, I cannot somehow. Ma'am, sorry. There is one more question by Bikram. This guy. Can I put out on the chat box itself? Yeah. Then we can scroll down the chat box. Ma'am, you just scroll it. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Got it. Just minimize my window. OTA. This is your question, Rishan. OTA. Uh, Ma'am, there is a question by Bikram. Does mm -hmm. price changing depends on the other competitors like Amazon and Flipkart? No, no. How come Amazon and Flip Flipkart comes up? Because Amazon or Flipkart, they are all uh, uh, different, right? They are all into consumer business. This is they are all into a different uh, uh, industry, right? Ma'am, you can stop yeah. presenting once. and uh, then you can close the chat box then you can open the chat box again oh, okay maybe let me just do this ma'am i have just given an example mm -hmm. uh, hello uh, yeah please give me uh, yeah maybe i'm somehow it's not uh, showing me still not getting It's not having issues. Not giving me the scroll bar somehow. Okay, you can just say a question. That is fine. I'll answer that. Yes, please. Mom, you can read through the screen shared by me. <laughs> Okay. Does price? Yeah, that helps. Thank you. Does price uh, changing depends on? No, price changing. See, कोई भी price change होता है वो हमेशा आपकी demand पे होता है, right? So अगर let's say obviously अगर उस hotel का feedback अच्छा है, so definitely जो pricing है उसकी अच्छी होगी. Second चीज जो matter करती है वो है commission. कि एक hotel का जो commission है वो Expedia या Agoda या Make My Trip उनके साथ उनका क्या यू नो व्हाट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट डू दे हैव सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द कमीशन दे विल गेट यू विल सी दिस प्राइस वेरियंस बिकॉज एक्चुअली प्राइस वेरियंस कहाँ से आ रहा है ये इसी वजह से आ रहा है क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं होटल और उन ओटीएस ने आपस में कॉन्ट्रैक्ट किया है एंड दैट इज वाई यू सी द वेरियंस वेर एक्सपीरियर टेल्स मी दैट यू नो वॉट आई गिव यू द मैक्सिम कमीशन बट आई शुड गेट द चीपेस्ट प्राइस विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ रेट पैरिटी और दे विल से यू नो वॉट you have to give the rooms on me your inventory should be available on me but closed on my competitor which is called as a availability parity does that answer your question okay yes, okay great great thank great. you and any more questions uh, rishabh or malvika you can share me your screen if there any more questions ma'am um, till now there is no more question Okay, great, great, great. I'm happy to start and finish on time. <laughs> so, yeah, great, great. Thank you so much, Sonia. It was been a wonderful session, very informative, and I think it clarifies a lot of doubts in the minds of the students. How does the travel industry work? So the, I would say the back processing of everything is. companies like great gain thank you so much great 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 thank you dr pavan for inviting me and i'm really happy to connect with you all so uh, my email id uh, i think uh, uh, dr pavan has someone not able to write it so you can uh, uh, or malvika or rishab you can share so that you know you can connect with me okay i'll just write in your email id in the chat box yeah Yeah, that that so, helps. Okay, yeah. So I would say, you know, uh, before I end this session, uh, uh, somehow the COVID nineteen happened, but you know, travel industry is one of the industry just like education. This will always be there because the leisure travels. the uh, the business travels they will always be there right aap is cheez ko bilkul vanish nahi kar sakte so we all are in a very good domain continue exploring it exploring all these domain birds and i wish you best of luck to all of you for your future
Thank you so much, Sonia. All the best. Okay, bye bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I've just typed out the message, right? Which gives her uh, email ID. Can you see it? Yes, sir. We have received it. Okay. It's S O N I A B L N T at the rate gmail.com. Yes, sir. Right then, thank you all for joining. See you all tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye thank care. you, sir. Stay safe. You too, sir. Bye.